we have the trailer connected and we're off to another adventure but this one is going to be a hell of a lot longer i'm about to say baby <laughs> this feels like deja vu all right we've done this before and not too long ago <laughs> y'all stay tuned <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the final stretch. We're about 90 miles away from Grantville, Pennsylvania, right off of Hershey, right by Hershey, actually. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Josh said in his earlier videos, I'm from Pennsylvania. I was born and raised in Philadelphia and kind of been around Pennsylvania all my life, but we're almost there. Uh, we got to be there at five o'clock. It's it will, We'll be arriving at 4.11, but hopefully yeah. we'll make it in time. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully no disasters. <laughs> all right, we guys, we have arrived. We are in Pennsylvania. It's been a long 15 and a half hours. Let's yeah. get this bike out. So we arrive here, and as soon as we get in to say, hey, we're here to pick up this vehicle, she says, again, no, you're not. You need to make an appointment. And we're like, son of a bitch, can you please allow us to get this bike out of here so we can head back to Florida? She's like, let me talk to my manager. He's like, cool, so come into the gate here so we can pick it up. Like we always say, smiling will get you everywhere. Yeah. Smile and be nice. Oh, how many IDs do we show? Ah, uh, zero. <laughs> It's private. No film. Okay. That's okay. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with the uh, polished 19. It's crazy. So many. Look at the Vita bus over here. All right, guys, the camera's a little crazy, but we weren't allowed to record, so I tried to get as much as I can while he walked away. So, because <laughs> we're trying to. We're trying to make a quick getaway, all yeah. right? The people here ain't exactly happy to they see They were us. not happy to see us at 4.30, and they were not happy to, uh, to be out for, yeah, yeah. To see a camera. They were not happy at all. They were put the camera away, or you are not getting your bike. And we're like, yes, sir. And it did not go away. But it is what it is at this yeah. point. We got the bike now. Stop us. <laughs> I don't know how I lasted so long in uh, Pennsylvania in this cold for so many years. I don't want to do this ever again and I do not want to ever have to deal with cold weather again unless I'm traveling which I don't care but BAM there she is Off to Florida, here we go. All right, so we are currently in South Carolina, just about back into Florida. 
and it is still cold this is not fun I do not like this I enjoy the warm I enjoy the heat now I do not like this cold stuff but we'll be there soon and then we'll get her uh, off the lift and probably cleaned up and stuff like that because it'll probably be daylight by now by then but see you guys in a little bit all right so we have finally finally fucking made it home the sun is out feels good look we got short sleeves on look at kyle and fucking john they got short sleeves on hell yeah anyways we finally got it here it was a long long week but we finally got it here get it off the trailer get it cleaned up and i'm gonna give my bed a kiss Alright guys, I kind of went inside and freshened up and got the bike cleaned up and detailed a little bit. Didn't go too crazy on it, but man, it's been a long week. Uh, again, me and Josh headed all the way down to Miami to pick up Bogan's bike for him. Then headed all the way up into Pennsylvania to pick up the Dyna. And then head all the way back. Very exhausting, very tired, very long week, but it was well worth it. And... Uh, I can't find I can't wait to find another one across country maybe like California go grab it and come back it'd be stupid of me but it would also be fun um, also uh, a lot of you guys been talking about the Cholo I know a lot of you guys said you like the Cholo here it is I never really did a walk around around the Cholo but uh just a little story on the Cholo I actually bought this at a Copart as well um, I paid like three thousand dollars for it and I put a few thousand dollars into it um this is going to be my forever bike but i ended up doing a dna fat spokes i did a 23 on the front i did a 16 on the rear with some shinko uh white wall tires 
I didn't want to do Shinko, but there's the only company out there that does a 23 except for V-Rubber. And then I do it, I ended up doing the Shinko to match on the rear. I did a hog foot center stand. There's a gentleman in California, I believe, that does some uh, center stands out of his garage for soft tails. I did Legends air suspension. I got front and rear uh, fenders from Bike Life Nation. Uh, the front is extended and the rear is extended seven inches. Basically as much chrome as I can. I want to do the uh, inner primary in chrome as well. Uh, and a few other things, uh, the, the chrome uh, neck cover. Uh, I ended up getting this uh, blanket here on Amazon. But I liked it the most because it had like the design in the center here, kind of similar to the the paint job. And then uh, my favorite Brap Star logo only because it reminds me of the Diplomat Eagle. Uh, Samson headers all the way back into Steady Customs uh, turn up pipes. I ended up getting the Steady Customs bracket to match uh, the pipes and kind of didn't want to go with the stock look. So I just ended up kind of getting everything chrome. Uh, PM calipers, PM rotors, chrome swing arm, uh, storage box that I got ordered from Brandon Harley Davidson. I want to do the uh, chrome uh, transmission door. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do the oil filter housing in chrome if I can. I can't remember if these models I can or can't. Can't remember. I want to do the, like I said earlier, the neck cover in chrome. And just a few other things um, when I got the bike it was wrecked um, anything from the neck forward was all replaced so bars uh, you know controls mirrors Arlen S mirrors uh, I want to get a chrome caliper um, I would really like to go a, a Takiko setup just a, I think it'd look cool a chrome Takiko uh, brake with a with the chrome bracket i think that would look pretty cool i want to do a uh, front air ride suspension because i i don't like the rake i did it um temporarily but i don't like the rake at all and uh this badass gauge that was from a company in uk um i freaking love this gauge medallion uh digital here analog obviously looks pretty freaking dope man anyways Oh, and a lot of you guys love the old clock there. That's about wrapping it up for this video. That's my baby. There she is. Also gonna be taking it to the Blockhead crew to get a uh, dyno tune here soon. I had an appointment set up for this week, but we have the uh, Brap Star photo shoot going on. But this is the end of my video. I wanna thank all of you guys for subscribing, watching the video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Do all those beautiful little things that Shay would say. Until next time, y'all be safe, God bless, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Hell yeah! This is a whole different side of Bob Star, baby. This looks good. Shit! Classy, baby! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh shit, I love it!